Good morning, everyone. So, I figured we might want to start with like a little introduction. Um, I just kind of jumped into Upchurch. One of, shout out to King Twizzy, just kind of reminded me like, you just jumped in and we don't really know an awful lot. So I said, okay, let's try um, Cheatham County because we know that he reps that a lot in his current music. So let's hear what we got here. Oh, so this is a video video. Let's go mud on. Did he say let's go get our mud on? Playing in the mud. I'm not against that. When you're working with plants, you're just dirty anyway. Man, these boys think they got me. You ain't got shit, son. I'm the lane frost of this shit. So bring gas on there. Lane frost. Is that the eight second guy that rides bulls that died freakishly? You guys let me know in the comments the only lane I think he said lane frost is the guy that Luke Perry passed away recently but Luke Perry made a movie called eight seconds and I could have swore that that was the guy's name there's a bull rider very famous and eight seconds you'd have to stay on that bull and lane frost died because it's common for bulls to step on or hurt usually the bull riders that's why you have those rodeo clowns but what happened was when he had hit lane frost it broke a couple ribs that rib severed an artery and he bled out and died immediately so he, so upchurch basically is getting in his bag i think he's referencing a legend already Okay, so he, yeah, he's, this is like a freaking fire song. He's already bringing it. He's, he's ready. He's ready for action. That's, oh my God. So some, I don't know if somebody was talking some stuff because he says, you ain't, you ain't got me at all. Like you basically don't know him. He says, you know, this is what I do. I'm here in the woods and He's getting his drink on, he's got his boots, and let's go. Another current theme of his is he's with, I better not get ahead of myself. I better stop. Just let's go. All right, that's how, that's the way boys are supposed to look anyway. <laughs> um, he's he's just repping what he does. This is really, I swear to God, this is how boys usually are. This is it. Um, he's saying what he usually says. You know, he's in the woods. He's, he's the trucks are high and. The reason they have to be high is because they got to get in and out of like muddy situations and creeks and little all kinds of stuff and I'm glad because I'm so tired of seeing lifted trucks that are not used for that and but shout out to my cousin because I know the ones that actually do for shows and stuff that's different I'm talking about people that are just buying trucks just to show them off it's just so annoying anyway so, this song's already lit. He's just in his bag. And then he said, hillbilly like a Beverly. Beverly hillbillies. He's just owning everything. Every stereotypical kind of a thing that anybody could possibly say to him. The world does America, but when I started from the bottom, now you honky got a buzz on. Cabs blue ribbon, cranking up a thumping country song. Tailgating, drinking beer, rolling up the greenery. Is it gets 
Cause this boy ain't got time to go and fight. Okay. You see, he's got all his homies, and he's drinking, I think he said Pabst beer. Jerry told me about that. It's like Blue Ribbon, I think. Pabst beer is like the cheapest beer that you can get. So he's already down that, talking about Pabst beer. Um, he's repping where he's from, and he's talking about what he does. So I love that. I love the camaraderie. We've talked about the rebel flag several times, and um, to him it does mean absolutely his heritage. He doesn't see it as what this, the po politicians have made it out to be. So I'll just leave it there as that. So he's basically the boss. When he says he's the hoss, that reference is almost like Dukes of Hazards. The hoss was like the sheriff. So, you know, he's like the boss and he has zero trust because he came up from nothing where everybody was basically saying he wasn't going to amount to anything. That's a current theme for rednecks and that really upsets me. I don't like that, that people doubt rednecks. They're very, very smart. Very smart. We have a lot of really cool stuff, really cool inventions, things that you wouldn't think of because of them. It's a horrible stereotype, just like most of stereotypes are horrible. You got a few bad apples, that's it. So, now that he's his face is well known in 50 states, he's looking at everybody funny and kind of sideways like, yeah, I don't know. So, he, he's like this when it comes to trust. Everybody's going to be at arm's length. So your damn city in this bucket of rust. We got lips, we got guns, driving tires off in this mud. I'm from back with sheet of cannon, bought them three words, say it all. Dropping bucks, making dollars, small town man down from the hollow. Made a finger to the world, cause America's my dollar. We got clips, we got guns, driving tires off in this mud. I'm from back with sheet of cannon, bought them three words, say it all. Dropping bucks, making dollars, small town man down from the hollow. Made a finger to the world, cause America's my dollar. Nashville born, small hick town raised on the edge of music. Bucket still plays. Everything gets dirty trying to pay that way. I ain't never had a handout. Never had a pick me up. Blood was a beer bottles breaking in my pickup truck. I love that. I love to hear these kinds of stories. You know, I'm all for that. That's why you guys know I started my channel for three reasons. For Eminem, because I got tired of people still making false claims against Eminem. He came up from nothing. He is a true underdog that came up and he's so inspirational and he touches so many lives. Snow the product because I think she is so underrated. She's a female, she's Mexicana and obviously I am too so I want to hear more of her music. I want to make sure that she is represented and Rob Twiz who's independent and I feel like people just sleep on him. I have no idea why. He's always always coming with lyrics, bars, dope music, and he's very humble, so, and I got introduced to Upchurch, I mean, like, I feel, I feel like I'm really getting well-rounded, so, when I heard that Upchurch basically came from nothing and made himself, I'm, I'm there for it, I love that, because that's how Jerry was, that's how most people that are real, real, um, that's how they do it. I'm not here for silver spoon people, sorry. I know that sounds horrible and whatever, but I, I don't know what to say. I, as somebody who pretty much grew up on their own, had to do everything on their own, um, I've seen a lot, and the people that I've always trusted, people I've always rolled with, were the ones that were self-made. So, as far as I know, those are the people I like to 
to see make it and he's doing just that he's doing just fine and he's letting everybody know chip on my shoulder rocking me a heavy farmer's tan on his trip me lovely because i'm popular on instagram haters say i'm faking shit say i'm not playing this barely lit when i didn't have the management to make sure that i'm well equipped so fingers up and shots on me famous and i'm 23 self-made son country boy from middle tennessee we got clips we got guns driving ties off in this mud i broke back with sheet of cannon boy the three words say it all dropping bucks making dollars <laughs> I loved it. Okay, you guys. Go show them some love. And, um, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Like, he's lit all day. The more I listen to his music, I don't even know what to tell you. He's just that good. It's what do you say it's just evolving it's ever evolving ever changing so let's go